Hey everyone, welcome to Kempner Canucks. My name is Rev Trev and I'm glad you're here because there's a major, massive, massive minor trade <laughs> with our Canucks today. That's I had to pull over to make this video. And um, yeah, so the reason why it's major for Canucks fans is because we know the name of Jack Rathbone and it's someone that we were hoping that would do a really good like become something in Vancouver but apparently they are done with Jack they have been they've they've decided to call so who do they call they call the Pittsburgh Penguins because of uh Rutherford and Alvin's connections there so uh, a lot of people now are calling us the Vancouver Penguins so uh, I get it I get it so let's first quickly talk about the guys that we sent off and then I'll get into our guys that we received so First of all, Jack Rathbone, super disappointing because he's only 24 years old. He's the right-handed shot defenseman that we all wanted on the last year of his ELC contract, making $850,000, 5'11", 190 pounds, but didn't produce and didn't fit with this club. He had every opportunity to do that, but got outplayed by Juleson, by Wolf Bolanen, by um, Hirose. All these guys are now getting opportunities where Jack's opportunities are now over with Vancouver, unfortunately. Um, we also sent out Pulasic, who's only, he's 5'10", 154 pounds, left wing, 23 year old from the Czech Republic. Uh, in 2021, 2022, he played eight games with the Abbotsford Canucks. Didn't score any points in those eight games. Last season, uh, he played for the Ch uh, Czechnia, and in 31 games, he had 15 points, but the, in the playoffs, he had seven games and he had five points and so kind of long shot hoping that it becomes something he's only 23 so he's got time to develop so pittsburgh gets the 24 year old and 23 year old fast forward to vancouver now we got ty glover and uh mark friedman a lot of canucks fans are saying who now let, that's why i'm making this video okay so let's talk about ty glover first ty glover uh is 23 years old he's a centerman say what um uh, he's got um, $859,000 contract for the next two years. It's an entry-level contract, and then he's an RFA. He's an undrafted player. That's kind of cool. He also has dual citizenship. He's Canadian and has Great Britain citizenship. Um, he's six foot three, 200 pounds. He, looking uh, at the Pittsburgh Penguins' uh, AHL numbers, let's just be honest, they're not good, okay? There seems to be promise because he's a big guy, as centerman but with really little production glover with the ahl penguins had 49 games and seven goals and 12 points so a little bit of a long shot a work in progress for sure for him but i love his size and it's going to be interesting to see how he fits in abbotsford mark freeman on the other hand is uh, someone that i think the reason why we made this trade is that he's played nhl games he's 27 years old he can play left and right but he's a right-handed shot defenseman Seven hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars is his contract uh, and he's on the last year of that contract he's 5'11 185 pounds so he's only five pounds lighter than um rathbone he's played 65 nhl games 11 with philly 54 with pittsburgh penguins right so friedman is uh the guy that they're hoping plays for us and sounds like they want to bring him up to the big club right away where uh glover is going to go be with abbotsford so here's the the problem i have with this is my friends who are flyers fans who know their stuff in the nhl do not like friedman they are not a fan they think that this is not a great trade for vancouver it might be we keep him for this year see how he does and if he doesn't you just let him walk i mean who knows what the plan is but 27 year old so we dropped three years with him and rathbone but we gained a 23 year old six foot three 200 pound center and glover so um yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Pittsburgh uses uh, Rathbone, see, see if he becomes something there. And, of course, uh, interesting to see what happens with Friedman and Glover. Is he – and and one of the things people are saying was this is the replacement to Juleson. And and I'm a little bit put off by that those comments, and I get what you're trying to say, everyone. But Juleson, like, I get it. I didn't like that he passed it in front and, and – uh, 
Dreisaitl got that there, but you're playing against the best players in the world. Like, literally two of the top five, if not top three best players. So Dreisaitl gets that really bad pass some, through a scrum, all the different chaos happens in front. Puck comes out to McDavid, rifles it in, they tie the game. But that's what happens with young players. They got to get the experience. They got to learn from their mistakes. And so I don't think we just move on. I, I want to see more from Juleson before I just say, oh, Freeman's the answer here. Um, I, I like Juleson. I like his size. I like how he's physical. I, I like that. But maybe he's not the answer. I, I'm not sure. I think the Garland trade is really the thing that I'm looking more forward to if we end up trading Garland. Not that I want to trade him, but sounds like he wants out. So if we can get a right-handed shot defenseman for Garland, then that's what I'll be excited about. But Friedman and Glover are not overly exciting at this but they're at this point for me but they're interesting i'd love to know what you think put your thoughts in the comments yeah thoughts in the comments hit that like and subscribe thanks so much for your support but here's the major minor deal for the day and side note haven't we made a million trades like everyone knew that rutherford was the guy who loved to trade we have seen that and we love trades as fans, we love to see movement. We love to see things happening. And I am so excited. It's game day. We're playing the Flyers tonight. Going to be interesting to see what happens and takes place in Philadelphia. I'm predicting a 4-1 Vancouver win, but we'll see. Uh, have an awesome day. Hit that like and subscribe. And, of course, go Canucks, go.